Hey, how's it going? Hopefully you had an awesome day. Many of you already know that as one of Julian's YouTube uh, hosts, I am uploading a video on Julian's YouTube channel every single month. But for those who don't know, my name is Gunders, but you can just call me the G-Man because uh, no one really knows how to pronounce my name anyway. Without any further ado, let's get to the video. I have a special story to tell you. Let's get to it now. The reason I fell in love with filmmaking was because of parkour. It's been almost a decade after I did my first ever flip. And even though my skill in this field has lowered, I still enjoy it very much and the feelings I get to experience while in the air, it's just, you can't explain it with words. And since it's been nearly four years since I last made a parkour video, you know, I thought I'd do something fun today. Let's film some uh, flips, shall we? Why do I prefer the Weeble S? Well, it's because you can be very mobile and portable with it. You can get low angle shots very easily without breaking your back, which is great. It just works and it's super quick to set up and it's not heavy, I love it. In this case, I think I wanna try the Crane 2S because of its performance. It's the most stable gimbal I have ever tried. I just wanna test it out to the max by running like a madman across the field, doing some really gnarly fast orbit shots, you know, just test it to its limits basically. So yeah, let's give it a try. When I am training and also filming using this big gimbal and camera I have, I get exhausted really, really quickly. And I don't want to train anymore, really. So for the last couple of days, my training's been kind of meh. So that is why I've decided to spice things up a little bit. And instead of using a big gimbal and a big camera, I'm just going to be using my phone and Julian's newest Smooth Q3, which is this little gimbal right here. It looks dope, so I have a feeling we're going to get some really dope footage. With all the heavy gear I had, I was actually exhausting myself way more filming than when I was actually doing flips myself. And thus, I didn't really enjoy my trainings all that much. While it was very difficult choosing portability and mobility instead of quality, it was definitely worth it because I felt way more productive and ready to try out different types of shots. And I can honestly say I enjoyed the training way more myself as well, because all I needed to do was turn on my phone, turn on that small gimbal and do a quick shot without worrying about the focus and exposure. So here you go. Yo, sometimes all this gear can get in the way of getting shots and this time that was definitely the case. Also, for the first time ever in my life, I tried 3 to 5 times zoom on a phone while on a gimbal. And I couldn't believe that I actually got usable shots with it. I had never seen that before, that's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. The Smooth Q3 was super fun to use and was able to get all sorts of shots from what you saw. It stabilizes the shots really well, I mean, look at this. I was running like a madman here, even with 3x zoom, and the Smooth Q3 handled it like a champ. The setup is quick, 
it's super minimalistic, only a couple of buttons, all the possible modes you could ever need. I can't wait to fully test out this bad boy because I had a very fun time with it. Alright, hopefully you had a great time watching this video. There's gonna be another one coming up next month, which is gonna be really, really dope. If you don't wanna miss any new videos, please subscribe to Julian's YouTube channel. Maybe even click the bell icon so you won't miss any new videos we upload. And if you have a little bit of extra time, I would really appreciate if you could uh, check out my main channel, which is uh, Dream Duo Films. Uh, I upload a bunch of tutorials there, travel videos and stuff like that, you know? Uh, but anyway, hopefully you had an awesome day. I'll see you next month and you know the drill. Peace out.